Hey guys, well I finally I woke up one Saturday morning and thought, yep, it's bottom end time. So I decided I was going to pull the motor out. So I just started disassembling the head. Took all the bolts out. Give it a bit of a whack. Uh, this was the head I did about six months ago. Uh, bigger valves. He blended it. He didn't do a great job, but he did a good job. All right, you know. And um, so I basically went ahead and ported the head. And this is it coming out now. Never done an automatic transmission before and didn't realize that the this. Uh, disconnect the torque converter so that was a bit of a learning curve uh, I thought I just popped out you know maybe I should have watched a few more YouTube videos so this is it I've got oil absolutely everywhere um, transmission oil all over the nice driveway and my wife wasn't too happy with that one So this is it getting picked up, took to the factory, uh, CDA engines at DY, picked it up, so they'll pick up and deliver. G'day guys, um, just taking valve springs out and valves out of this head, and I've just uh, Made a small tool. Well, I haven't really made a small tool. I've just drilled a hole in the, in the tool, in the shifter. And I'll just show you what I do. So you get a bolt. Screw that down in there. There's one, and maybe two, there you go, easy. Alright, so here I've taken the valves out, and this is probably six months of driving, and as you can see I just started tinkering with the ports. I've never done this before. Um, spent, I don't know, maybe five hours on it over a few days. Took quite a bit out of the, the inlet ports. The exhaust, I just freshened up a little bit. Took a little bit out of those. So I've just given these a bit of a tickle up. Uh, I didn't do much on the exhaust. I just rounded those edges. I 
Oh, that's my first one, so I don't know if it's any good. Hopefully it's improved a little bit. We'll get this uh, engine back together. All right, um, so we just fitted some new engine mounts. These ones were screwed. Now, <laughs> if you do these, take a photo because they can go either way and you'll be stuffed because, <clears throat> you know, they're offset this way, they're offset on the back. Uh, this one looks a bit crooked, I'll fix that up. So yeah, I was a bit confused with the first one. Um, had to follow the wear marks, but all good now. Alright, so I picked up this um, store converter. They've <clears throat> done something with the fins or something inside, so this should have about 2500 store. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit of oil in there and get it back in the car. about a cup. About a cup you reckon? Let's do a big cup. should do it. Uh, let's get him in the car. I think that's it. <clears throat> it seems to be bottoming out, bottoming out on the, um, the bell housing, so I think it actually has to come back this way a little uh, when it bolts up. So, we sweet.
So I'm just grinding these back. So we need to tension the head, we don't need to pull all these off. Okay, so the bottom end's come back. It probably took about two weeks, I'd say. Maybe two and a half. Um, I was pretty excited. Got it back in the van straight away. It's good having a forklift. As you'll see, it's all freshened up. Um, they didn't get to give me get me any photos of the bottom end, but we put 4Gs in it um, and some H beams, some uh, race bearings. Don't know what brand. Uh, didn't mention that one. And here it is going back in. I think I just had to put the dampener on and a couple of pulleys. Uh, the water pump I put in a bit later, but uh, she was pretty smooth. They eh? it went in all right. So that torque converter was a bit, bit hard, but other than that, I was by myself first time. And here we're just nipping up all the bolts, make sure they fit all properly, um, make sure they go into the mounts as well. I put the new mounts on so they all lined up pretty good alright so I've got a 30 thou uh, comedic head gasket putting the head back on now Just lubing all the bolts up. Yeah, just started talking down the head here. Uh, I think I got it to about 80 foot pounds. So I went 40, 60, 80. Um, and then in 1000 Ks, I did it again. Just went over them, cracked them back, brought them back up to 80, a little bit more. All right, push rods.
so she's back together and it's uh, start up time so I didn't have the timing quite where it was supposed to be must have been a bit off uh, it took me a little bit of time to start this thing Yeah, I must admit, I was a little bit worried about the cam and the lube because it took me about 20 minutes to get it actually running and do the, the cam running. Um, so yeah, I kept that at two grand for 20 minutes. Uh, it seemed to go all good. Still running the 500 Holly uh, that came off the car because I knew it ran, and um, so we just kept that on for the running. What's all that shit on my driveway? Oh, she's just lumpy at the moment. What's all that shit coming out of exhaust? Condensation. <laughs> 